the Central Limit Theorem, or otherwise known as CLT. Let's say you've got a population. Okay, so I'm going to represent my population here. And this population has a mean and a variance. The uh, distribution of this population is unknown, so we're not going to assume it's normally distributed or anything else. So the population distribution is unknown. If from this population you take a random sample, okay, we've taken a random sample and as long as the sample size is large, so at least 30, the sample mean will be normally distributed and this normal distribution will have a mean identical to the population mean but the variance needs to be divided by n the sample size. Okay, so in short the central limit theorem states that if you take a large random sample from a population whose distribution is unknown, the sample mean follows a normal distribution with these parameters. And the impact of this when you're doing calculations with the normal distribution is that instead of using this formula for standardizing, you're going to use this one that's given to you in the AQA formula book. There. Now we can see a demonstration of this as to how a random sample taken from some unknown distribution will be normally distributed. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Here we see a histogram. Clearly, the uh, distribution that the histogram is following here, it's not a normal distribution. Yeah, it doesn't have that distinctive bell-shaped curve. Now, from this population, represented by this histogram, if I take a, a single random sample of uh, size 50, so a large random sample here. Each arrow here represents a single item that was taken from the population. And there's 50 of them because we've taken a random sample of um, uh, size 50. The sample mean is here, this little blue rectangle there. That's the sample mean of these 50 items. If we repeat this, there's a different sample. And now you've got two sample means, one from before and one from this sample here. And we can repeat this. Yeah, different samples with different sample means each time being recorded in the center there. And uh, if we speed this process up, The sample means here in the center appear to be normally distributed. This is the whole essence of the central limit theorem. It states that if you take a large random sample from some population whose distribution is unknown, the sample means will be normally distributed. As you can see, the mean of the population because this particular population is symmetrically distributed, the mean was at the center, and the mean of the normal distribution is exactly the same value here at the center. If you look at the spread in the data, the population is more spread out than this distribution in the middle. Yeah, the sample means are less spread out. Hence, when you're looking at the distribution of the sample mean, you have the same mean here as the population, but the variance is smaller. There's less spread in 
the distribution of the sample means here. That's why you've got sigma squared divided by n here for the variance.